Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com. Today we're taking a look at and installing the JMS Pedalmax Drive-By-Wire Throttle Enhancement Device available for all 08 to 18 Silverado 1500s. Now, if you're the owner of a Silverado 1500 in that gen, you might wanna get this if you're looking to eliminate or reduce at least your drive-by-wire delay. What that basically means is the time that you hit your gas pedal to the time that your throttle body opens up and you actually accelerate your vehicle off the line, there is a delay. It takes a little bit of time to actually get going once you hit the throttle. This device actually alleviates that, which can do a number of things. It makes it feel like you're gaining horsepower and torque. I do want to be clear, this does not actually add any power. It just eliminates the delay between the time you hit the gas and the time you actually get going which is extremely helpful, especially for guys out there with lifted trucks with bigger wheels and tires. You know once you add those bigger wheels and tires, your truck is a little sluggish. This can actually help you get off the line a lot faster and put the pep back in your truck. Now with this installed, it actually plugs into a wiring harness that'll then replace or plug into your factory location of your pedal sensor under your driver's side dashboard. Now a little bit more of a difficult part here is feeding the wire from your engine bay through the firewall down under your dashboard, which is still going to be pretty straightforward, it's just a little tricky in the tight spaces, which we'll get to in just a bit here. Speaking of that installation, I'm giving this one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. You can get it done in about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on whether or not you have some simple tools on deck. Uh, what I will say is there are two different modes that you can actually install for this device, both of which you can do on the fly at any time in your vehicle. This little red chip plugs in and will actually put this at half sensitivity. So right out of the box, this is set at maximum sensitivity. Once you plug this in, it's ready to go. It gives you your maximum amount of adjustment here. Plug this in and you're really gonna get a sensitive pedal. The second you touch that pedal, it's gonna get going. There's almost no delay in your drive-by wire. Once you plug this little red chip into the wiring harness there, right under your dashboard, this will actually cut that sensitivity in half, make it a little less sensitive. Now, if you're daily driving, maybe you're in traffic, you don't want such a sensitive pedal there, you don't wanna be moving back and forth from red light to red light, plug this little chip in, it's extremely easy. Anytime you get on the highway, you wanna open it up a little bit, you want it to be a little quicker, a little sportier, you can remove this chip with the pinch of one of those clips, it'll come right out and you'll go back to the maximum sensitivity. Really simple stuff here, very straightforward product. You can pick up the JMS Pedal Max product for just about 300 bucks, maybe a little less than for your Silverado. There's also an upgraded version of this, which will actually come with a controller knob that you can feed from under the dashboard right next to your steering wheel and arms reach to play with a little bit more levels of adjustment to give you a lot more range to play with. Without further ado, let's get this plugged in and see how it's installed. Tools needed for this install are a ratchet, extension, 10 millimeter socket, wire cutters, and a mechanical flexible pickup tool. The first step in the install is to disconnect the negative terminal on your battery with your 10 millimeter socket, extension, and your ratchet. This is a very important step you do not want to skip whenever you're working with wiring. Then you're going to be able to remove the nut on the positive terminal to put in place the eyelet on the JMS harness. Alright, now you're going to take that eyelet from the harness here and you're going to stick this in place under the nut and replace that nut. Rotate this to the other side. Now that we have that connected to our positive terminal on the battery, you can feed the wiring under the support bar, feed it across the firewall to the driver's side. Now once we have everything situated, we'll be able to zip tie this wire back to some of the other wires running across the firewall, but for now we want to leave ourselves a little bit of that slack. Now in order to feed our harness down to our pedal, what we're going to have to do is feed it through the firewall where the hood latch cable goes into that pre-drilled hole there from the factory. Now it's got this weather grommet around it here. What we're going to have to do is simply just pull back on it and pop it out of place. This leads to another pre-drilled hole slightly lower than this one on the inside, which is going to feed through to our pedal. 
Now in order to get this to our pedal, we're gonna feed this harness wire through the hood latch cable's pre-drilled hole on the firewall. Once we get through this first hole where that grommet is that we just removed, it'll have to feed down about two inches to another small hole about the same size. Through that hole, it'll get into our cabin and we can get it to the sensor by the pedal. Now in order to get this through the first hole, then through the second hole and fed through to our cab, I'm gonna use this tool right here. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Some of you guys might actually find it easier to do it by hand. It's a very tight space here, so to get one finger in to feed it through is gonna be a little difficult, I think. So I'm gonna use this, and it's a very flexible tool that I can attach this to the end of the sensor, feed it through, and be able to flex this to our second hole. So let's get to it. This is a really hard install to show because there are very, very tight spaces, especially in the cab there. Now there's a number of different ways to do this. You can do it with a wired coat hanger. You can do it with a tool just like mine that flexes and has a little wire grab on the end there. This I find to be the easiest method, but again, there's a number of ways to do it at home. Now the first thing you wanna do, of course, is get the wire through this first hole in your firewall. Now I went in from the inside of the truck here on the driver's side under the dashboard fed my little slinky wire here up through the second hole right behind the little locked fuse box under the dashboard. Now once you get it through that second hole, you can actually have a friend feed it into this grabber, close it up, and pull it through to the inside. Now again, it's a lot easier said than done. It's a really tight spot. They're really small holes that you can barely get an index finger through. Now if you're using a buddy on one end and you're on the other, that can make life a lot easier, something I would definitely recommend. Again, a wired clothes hanger can also do the trick. You can hook it around the one side and feed it through, but again, personal preference. So once you have the wire through to the inside of the truck, all you'll have to do now is unplug the pedal sensor, plug it into your new device, plug the wiring harness into the stock location, plug everything into the wire you fed through, and you'll be good to go. So let's get to that. Now for the rest of the installation, it is fairly simple. So here's the wire we fed through the firewall. The first thing we need to do is remove our pedal sensor, which has a very easy white clip that holds it in place. This white clip, we're actually gonna pull back on toward us so it snaps out of place. Then we're gonna pinch and pull that sensor out of place. This sensor is gonna plug into one side of our harness here. The other side of that harness is gonna plug into the factory sensor location. And then finally, the opposite side plugs into the JMS device. So first things first, let's get this plugged in to our harness here. Oh. You'll see it'll be a male-female type connection, so that'll click into place. Then you can lock that white piece down. Second off, the one directly next to it can plug into the factory location on the pedal. That'll snap into place and you'll push back down on that white clip. Next up, the opposite end with the orange connector will go into our JMS device. That'll snap into place as well. Our final clip is gonna go into where this red wire is and that circular connector behind our brake pedal. We're gonna connect that to the wire we fed through the firewall. That'll snap into place as well. So as it is right now plugged into the sensor, our harnesses are all hooked up, the harness we fed through the firewall is hooked up. As it is without this additional red clip, this is already preset out of the box to the highest sensitivity possible. Now, if we wanted to cut that in half and get it a little less sensitive, if we wanted to do a little less of a throttle response gain, we can plug this red clip in. This red clip is gonna diminish the amount of power that this puts out and the amount of change that it makes. So on our loose clip here that doesn't have anything connected to the harness, you'll take this red connector and plug that in. Now that this is plugged in, the sensitivity change that the Pedal Max device makes is cut in half. So this will just be about as half as sensitive as it would be without that red clip. Now that we have it in place, we'll be good to go. Now once you have this red connector in, say you wanna go back to the maximum setting, all you have to do is if you have you know, skinnier fingers, I've got pretty nubby fingers, so I'm gonna use needle nose pliers, but all you'd have to do is pinch down on this connector and pull it out of place. Now the last step in the process, whether you wanna add the red connector or not, is to secure the actual device back. Now, as it is right now, it's pretty unsafe for driving conditions. You wouldn't want this getting in the way of the accelerator pedal. You wouldn't want it flopping in front of the brake pedal. That can be pretty dangerous. So what you're gonna wanna do is secure this back in any way that fits your personal preference. Now, some guys will wanna add maybe 3M tape to this, secure it back 
toward the firewall back there. Some other guys want to use the zip ties included in a kit. You might want to zip it back up to the pedal sensor. That way it's out of the way. Whatever you feel necessary, uh, you can do. Personally, I would just zip tie this back um, to really any one of the wires up here behind the pedal just to make sure it's out of the way of your braking gas pedal. So any way you want to do that's fine, but from there, you're good to go. All right guys, to wrap up your install, you wanna make sure that you're remembering to plug in or reconnect the negative cable on your battery. That's a very important step. And then of course, uh, secure all the wires back onto the engine bay. Uh, you can use the zip ties to secure them to the firewall. So at the end of the day, if you're looking to pick up the JMS Pedal Max Drive-By Wire Throttle Enhancement Device for your 08 to 18 Silverado 1500, you can find yours for just under 300 bucks at americantrucks.com.